Bob Davis here with Strength of America. A couple things I want to talk to you about tonight. I just got finished up with one of the youth football teams we have here in Mesa that had me out. They've been a few weeks into their season, doing great, got some good speed. Uh, but coach called up and uh, was having some problem with first step on a lot of the athletes. They're starting to lose that part of it, hesitating a little bit. So we went out and took them through some drills to kind of find out what was happening. Uh, unfortunately, what happens is a lot of times the kids will go through, they're all gaining speed, they're getting great work out of our summer program. And what we start to hear is they start getting involved in regular practices. And unfortunately, we're creatures of habit. And unless that's being reinforced over and over what they should do, the mechanics, even if we all do high knees, the problem is the mechanics of the high knees. Are we keeping a forward lean to keep that momentum building for building power and speed? Are they actually generating power every time that foot takes contact with the ground? Or are they just running on top of the ground? And with football, like it is with soccer or anything else, we've got to try and build that momentum, build that power. So what we saw was when I went out and took them through some base drills and just a ready position taking off, is that most of the kids tended to drop step backwards. So they'd actually step back anywhere from 6 to 12 inches before they generate speed going forward. Well, as a football player, for example, if you're trying to get to that hole, they take a step backwards. It's one foot behind. Instead of generating power being a foot ahead, now they're two feet behind where they should be into that hole. Two feet is way too much to generate to get to where they need to be. So we took them through a series of drills to get them back on track. By the end of that half hour, the kids were doing great. Our linemen actually were keeping up with some of our guys that were faster because the faster guys were still taking steps backwards. So we showed them how to get quicker reaction, the movement, but not only just quicker reaction, but generate power as they move in, not letting the chest come up. They lean forward in that motion. So what I want to put out, because I know this is common, I'm getting some emails from, from coaches, some from parents, uh, that they're seeing some of these things happen. Uh, what I want to put out there is actually for the next, for first three coaches that get a hold of me, they could be coaches, parents, anybody involved with the team. For the next 10 days, I will actually come out to their practice and spend a 30 to 45 minutes, whatever the coach will allow me time wise, happy to come out and volunteer that time because we want these kids to keep developing, getting better. One of my biggest frustrations, we develop speed, the power, the kids are doing great. And then they get done with three or four months of their practice time. And they're back where they were before. And it takes them a couple weeks to get back in it. I want to see these kids at least come back to me where they left off at the end of the summertime. And those kids that didn't weren't able to take advantage of our camps and stuff, we want to show them some things, give them some advantages of how to make that change. But even more important than that, for our coaches, as we went through, the coach was just realizing, you know, what we can be. It's not me coming out there, showing them what they should do. But every play, every time they change direction, make a cut. They have to do it with power. They can't just get in the habit of running patterns. If they just get in the habit of running patterns, there's no way they're going to get together game time. They have to get in game mode every time they move, how they change direction, how they get, generate the power. And we'll be glad to come out and show that. But just because time-wise is kind of limited, I get my classes started in about 12 days. So for the next 10 days, I'm happy to come out for the first three coaches that get a hold of me. Either on the Facebook page where you have it down there, comment, send me a, a link so I can get a hold of you. Or email me, strengthofamerica at gmail.com, and I'll put that in the post as well. So you can just click it and send me an email. Happy to do that. We'll come out and get that time set. Uh, so look at the basics. Let's get in. But for the first three, get a hold of me. I'll be happy to come on out uh, anywhere in the valley here, and we'll get them taken care of. Thanks for being a part of the Strength of America family. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and teammates. We'll get them tips to help keep them on track and get them involved as well. So enjoy the season. Keep it up and post, put something down there for me, or just send me an email. We'll, we'll connect. I'll get out there and help them out.